You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. everybody doing on let's talk sunday this is a dion your dream pusher for all you newcomers out there and today's topic is be grateful for those who are assigned to you think about it i'll be back always turning later cannot stop the time always merging into planes that better suit us Switching to gear, let's go As we climb up the hill, don't slow down Pedal a little more The mind is working, it's in control Your wheels are turning a little more Going higher and up the notch Keep it steady, don't watch the clock Go As I said, I just want to welcome all the newcomers out there. Thank you for tuning in to Chronicles of Living Podcast Show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. Us extraordinary folk out here doing the damn thing the best way we can, and that's all we can ask of ourselves. And I am your host, Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit, y'all. Yes, and today's topic is be grateful for those who are assigned to you. And I'm sure y'all like uh, what you're talking about, ADI. Well, um, just like we all have a purpose in life, we are all assigned to people, to situations, to um, just to do certain things and to accomplish certain things before our last day um, comes. So, for example, you know, I am assigned to you to help you work through certain things in your life by coming on this podcast show and talking about the different topics that I talk about. Um, Some of them come from uh, my friends, some of them come from emails, suggestions, some come from my spirit, some come from different um, conversations I might have throughout the day. But nevertheless, when I talk on these topics, it's a part of my assignment because it's a part of my purpose in life. This is a part of my purpose. I had to figure that out. Um, and how you figure out your purpose is you narrow it down. What is it that you're good at naturally? You know, what comes to you naturally that you do that a lot of people may say you do well? For me, it's talking. (laughs) A lot of people say I talk a lot. But with that, a lot of um, people, friends, associates, um, you know, relatives have told me that I am very encouraging and motivating and inspirational to them. So with my words, they become assignments to 
help people to sometimes overstand their situation or maybe bring a different light to their difference I mean to their situation just from the fact that I talk a lot I like talking to people I'm social and I also like listening to people for some reason sometimes some of the people that's personal to me I might kind of over talk every now and then but <laughs> they love me still anyway and I love them and they know I I mean well all the time so I just be excited and you know because these are people that I know and I love so that's the reason why sometimes I might talk a little extra but nevertheless um those people that I encourage and um, motivate is a part of my assignment. Now, that's on a good note. But on, uh, I'm not going to say a bad note because this is why I had to, um, well, my spirit decided to pick this topic today. So say somebody hurts you in some type of way, rather be physical, mental, verbal abuse. It could be family member, friend, um, co-worker, boss, anybody that made you feel some type of way, that made you feel devalued or worthless in some type of way, well, or annoyed you in some type of way, well, they also are assigned to you. So you may say, how so? Well, because they shine a light on your weakness. Because at the point that somebody can, as I've been talking these last, I'm going to say the last three shows, I've been really focusing on um, self-reflection and really going deep within to, you know, start working on yourself and and also showing you different ways that you can start working on yourself. Well, so with that being said, when I say people that hurt you or annoy you um, are assigned to you because they help you to see your weakness, if you can allow another human being to get you so down and so um, hurt or depressed or whatever like that, then they're showing you that you need to come up more with strength. You need to learn how to hone your power that you hold. You need to know your value, your worth, and maybe you need to walk in it a little bit more than you are. And sometimes people can be very confident on the outside, but have very low self-esteem within. And you might not know it because they're always so confident and so bubbly and things of that nature. And the reason why I could talk on this is because I was like that at one point. At one point, I had this shell of confidence that everybody just knew, like, nothing can break me. You know what I'm saying? But within, I was weak in some areas. Within... Uh, at some points in my life, I let certain people um, strip away my power little by little. And unconsciously, I became a little bit, um, I gained self, self, low self-esteem, let's say that. And I was not aware of it. But see, how you become aware of something that... Um, you need to work on is you start doing things out of character. And that was how I was able to pinpoint that I needed to work on my self-esteem because I started doing things that wasn't in my character, you know, maybe dating guys that I probably wouldn't have dated or uh, just doing things out of character. I mean, I don't, that's just the, the main thing I could say right now. So, you know, but 
once I figured that out, like, okay, wait a minute, this is not me. Um, I need to pull myself back and I need to work on me. I need to um, go in seclusion and, and figure out why or where did this low self-esteem come from? At what point did something or somebody trigger that within me? And once, you know, you narrow it down, then you can start working on it because maybe it might be um, a person or a thing that you need to stay away from, you know, so that you can work on yourself. And in a lot of occasions, people can mean well and people might not even know that they hurt your feelings or might not even know that um, they disappointed you or made you depressed in some type of way. People might not know that. They might be coming from a good place when they say what they say to you that make you feel some type of way. But as I said in my last week's show, I think if you don't tell someone and if you don't communicate with someone that they hurt you, the thing that they did hurt you or the thing that they said hurt you, how would they know? I mean, you do have some people that purposely do it, but I'm, I want to be that believer that um, believes that people are coming from a a good place. You get what I'm saying? Like, for example, um, when my son was applying for college, I had a lot of family members that were trying to tell me which way I should, you know, go about, you know, sending them to college, what type of college I sent, I should send them to and things of that nature. And, you know, he's not going to make it if he doesn't take the SATs or things like that. But I use that to fuel me to make sure that I focus on what my son wanted and not what everybody else thought he needed. You get what I'm saying? So in a sense, they became um, people that were assigned to me to help me to walk in my power because I didn't know how to go about looking for the right college for him. But I was like, it has to be more out there. So it sparked a, um, a, a fire under me to really go hard and search for the right college for him, narrow it down, and then give the list to him so that he can go through the list and narrow it down. And then we take that journey together. It helped me to realize that, okay, I am his mother. I raised him. I know him better than anybody else. And this is what I mean by it came from a loving place because that's my family and they wanted what they thought what was best for my son. But it wasn't what he believed what was best for him or what I believed what was best for him. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to give you different scenarios so that you can recognize that everybody that comes comes across your path has an assignment. Okay? I have people that I thought were my friends and I thought they were my friends for years. You know what I mean? And certain events happened that made me know, okay, they were assigned to me. They were assigned to me to push me further. Like example, one person that I thought was my friend, which was younger than me, and I called her my little sister. I kind of, for real, took her under my wing. I taught her everything that I knew. Um, and long story short, she betrayed me a couple of times, but I couldn't see it. 
the first two times that um, certain events happened. And I just couldn't see it because why? My heart was in a good place. And so I didn't want to think that this was a person that was envious of me because all I had for this person was love. You get what I'm saying? But my outside friends saw it. And they would tell me like, yo, I kind of think that sis is a little bit envious of you. She got a little bit of jealousy in her heart towards you. And she want what you got. She kind of want to be you. I had one girlfriend would tell me that all the time. I really think she want to be you. And lo and behold... I put this, um, I was excited about this project I was working on. This was some years ago, but I was very excited about this project I was working on. And I told some of my close friends about it and I was living out of state and another person called me and told me to look at this person's website. She had jacked my whole mission statement, my whole, the ideas, everything. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying? And if that wasn't the clearest picture that God could have showed me, then I would have just, I don't know. <laughs> but nevertheless, what that did for me was... Yes, in the beginning, it angered me. I was hurt. I was disappointed. I had all of these mixed feelings that I was feeling. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it made me go back and revamp my whole plan. It made me go back and research some more and just change up everything to the point that it led me to working with um, developers overseas and meeting new people and um, getting better at building websites and wanting to learn more and more about building websites and what goes into it and um, branding work and all of this. And so, which led me all the way up to now. So I say all that to say, again, some of the things or the people that are assigned to you might make you feel some type of way. And it might not be so good. But at the end of the day, that was their purpose in your life. So you really should not be mad at them. You should be grateful for them. Because those are the type of people that will push your button so hard that you have something to prove, not to them, but to yourself. You get what I'm saying? That you are better, that you got more. Okay, go ahead. You can have that. You want to steal that? Go ahead. Because you're stealing something that God gave me. So therefore, it's not going to come to fruition the way it, it is for me because that's a vision that God gave me. And nevertheless, her situation never did come to fruition. Was she the whole idea that she called herself stealing from me? <laughs> you know what I mean? So never think on another note, never think that somebody can steal your dream or your vision. That is what God gave you and only you can delete it. Only you can delete it. Only you can be the person that don't walk in your dreams or vision if you stop, if you quit. Let those people that are assigned to you, let them do what they're supposed to do. Because it's only going to make you stronger. It's only going to make you go inward and really look at yourself and ask yourself like, what is it within me that I can do to make me a better person, a better spirit, to, to get my spirit and my soul to the place that I'm unstoppable, that I, um, I know that I'm valuable, that I know that I'm worthy. 
You know, that I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm handsome. You know, what is it that I can do that when people come at my neck with words or he say, she say, because I've had a whole lot of lies told on me throughout my life. <laughs> I just got to look back at some of them and then I just be like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. People got creative imaginations. And I'm a real, even though I'm a social butterfly, I'm a private person. I'm to myself. I really don't, I really don't hang with a lot of people. And it's for that reason. (laughs) I have my same core friends, the ones that came along after the fact, they fell off. So, you know, but I might have like two friends that I've added over the past, say, 15 to 10 years, and they're still my friends. You know, I can definitely, they're my sisters, you know. Other than that, I had my friends go back to elementary school. My same core friends go back to elementary school. So even your friends, your real friends, they have certain assignments. They have... Um, you know, you can have a debate with a friend at some point and because you are thinking one way and you're not in agreement with with their thinking, you can be upset with them, but then later on you can go back and be like, you know what? They right. Let me, let me just, (laughs) I had that happen to me the other day. One of my um, cousins. Um, we was having this conversation. I was telling her, I was sharing some stuff with her that was on my heart. And she was like, Liv, because some people call me Liv, if you haven't been following the podcast. She was like, um, she just gave me her spin on the situation. And she was like, you're not going to like what I got to say, but I think X, Y, and Z. I think you should do X, Y, and Z. And I was like, Okay. But yet, she'll call me and do the same thing, and I'll be like, well, you're not going to want to hear what I got to say. And I had to sleep on what she said. I had to write it out. I slept with it under my pillow. I put my crystals on it. I prayed over my thoughts, you know, that I got out of my head on paper, as I tell you to do, if you've been following, anytime you got a lot of thoughts in your head, emotion, or whatever, that's kind of, I don't want to say a distraction, but it's just really, really wearing you down, always write it out on paper because it will transform, it will trans transfer. That energy will transfer to that paper and get out of your head. Trust me when I say this. You will feel so much better. And then you can read through it. And when you see it on paper, you can look at it in a different light as well. And when you sleep on something even better, like I like to sleep on my words sometimes. If it's something that's really bothering me and I'm a little bit confused about it, the next morning you will. If you pray about it and you pray over the words you wrote down and, you know, you say, God, look, just give me clarity on this, on these thoughts. Um, What should I do? How should I approach this? Um, Or if it's some type of business deal or relationship, how should I, you know, just give me some words. Give me a sign so I can know. Let me feel it in my gut. Let me feel a good feeling. Let me hear a song, (laughs) something. Just give me some type of sign that I, so I can know what direction to go with this thing. You hear what I'm saying? So I had to sleep on it. And once I woke up, my mind was clear. And I was like, I texted, I was like, you was right. (laughs) Make me sick. (laughs) But... She's assigned to me and I'm assigned to her and we help each other work through um, challenges, challenging thoughts or ideas or situations that or obstacles that we're working through, you know, so this is why I'm saying be grateful and be grateful for your family members that that don't believe in you. 
you know, your friends that don't believe in you. They are assigned to you. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the people that don't believe in you, you're going to get to a point, you're going to get tired of that shit. <laughs> Especially when you know you hold greatness in you, as we all do. There's not a soul on this planet that God created that doesn't have some greatness in them, some type of purpose in them, or a assignment in them, that they can make a difference, rather it be in this whole world, rather it be in one child's life, one old person's life, one homeless person's life, whoever it may be. We all have a purpose and we all have an assignment. So when you have people, friends and um, family, associates that tell you you can't, they're assigned to you to push you in your power. They're assigned to you to get under your skin and to light a fire under you so that you can do what it is that you came here to do so that you can walk in your purpose with such, um, I don't want to say anger, but the feeling of anger because you got something to prove. You're going to let them know, no, I'm going to show them. Huh, they going to tell me I can't do this. Every time somebody tell me I can't do, you best believe I'm on it. I'm, I, I over um, prove that I can do it. <laughs> Because it's something within us. It's something within our spirit that's not going to just take that. You know what I mean? Not for so long. Yes, you do have people that go through abuse and that um, get weak because of the abuser having so much. Well, them letting the abuser having so much power over their life because... They've been hearing it over and over and over again. So they feel like they are powerless. You know, people that go through abuse, they feel like they're powerless because maybe they don't have um, supportive friends or maybe they don't have um, anybody that speaks life into their life around them. Maybe... Where they live, their environment, their household uh, are filled with limitless minded people. And when I say limitless minded people, I mean people that don't believe themselves that they can go any further than where they are. People that have never experienced more than, you know, their hometown or more than just um, living in one area all their life, working one job all their life. And I'm not saying that, okay, you work one job all your life, you're not going to experience nothing. But what I'm saying is people that never really changed up the format of their lifestyle. The format of their journey in life. They just pretty much did the same thing every day. Every day, the same thing, you know? So they don't know nothing more. So how can they tell you? Because you have a dream and a vision that's so big beyond their belief. How can they tell you you can't do it? You can't accomplish it. When they never accomplish nothing, <laughs> most of the time, that's what it is, you know? And when I say when they never accomplish nothing, maybe the things that you might have heard them talk about, they wanted to do or they wanted to try, but they never did. They never even put one foot forward. I'm not going to say try, work towards, let's say that. They never worked towards it. You know, they always had a victim mentality. Woe is me. Woe is me. You know, nothing ever works out for me. 
I'm here to tell y'all, everybody that knows me, they know I've been through some shitting back. <laughs> I got to say it that way. And I'm not going to sit on here and say that I never wanted to my woe is me state. Yes, I have. We're human. We, we have feelings. You know, when people do you wrong and or things don't work out, you are going to feel some type of way. But as to what extent will you feel some type of way? How long will you hold on to that? Is it going to be uh, a couple minutes? Is it going to be hours, days, years? I know people that hold on stuff for years. You can turn time back, period. So why would you hold on to things that make you feel negative feelings and emotions and make you feel bad? Why would you hold on to that for years instead of just letting it go and looking at it as an experience that you learned something from? You not only learn something about the situation, but you learn something about yourself. You learn that you hold on to stuff <laughs> that you shouldn't be. You learn that you hold on to things that you know is going to cause you pain. Instead of letting it go and looking at a situation and finding a joy out of it. Finding a good out of it. Or the good out of the person that might have hurt you. Because everybody has good in them. I don't care how terrible they may seem. Everybody has good in them. The problem is this. People don't deal with their deep-rooted issues. That's the problem. So a person can love you deeply. And then hurt you deeply. Because they're hurting within themselves, so they want you to hurt. And it might not be purposely. It might be unconsciously. But as they say, hurting people hurt people. And this is why we have to let go and we got to be grateful for the people that's assigned to us. And we have to let go of the words and the things that were done to us to hurt us. Release it, forgive, let it go, either move on, have a conversation about it, kiss and make up, or... Like I said, move on, one or the other. You you make your decision. You know what's right for you. You know what, um, you know, you know who in your life really means you good, regardless of what you might have been through with them. You know what friends are true friends to you and really got your back, even if you had a whole fallout argument with them and you were hurt by them. By what they said. They could have been in their feelings and going through something that day. Or you could have been going through something that day and said something to them that wasn't cool. And you wish you could take back. Well, the grown-up thing to do is have a conversation. Be the bigger person. Go call them up. Have a meeting. Have lunch, dinner, whatever. And apologize. Own up to your shit. What you said, you know what? I was in a funky place and that's all that was coming off for me was funk. (laughs) You know what I mean? So I'm so, I'm so, I apologize that you caught it. A whiff of that funk that I was going through that day. That's it. And then let it go. And then guess what? Most likely y'all going to be laughing about it and all is well. Just keep it moving. Just come from your heart. See, a lot of us walk around here holding on to all of those things, all of that bad negative energy from those assigned people. All the people that told lies on me and, you know, all the he say, she say. I mean, back in the day, I was concerned about it. And I used to 
try to, I mean, work at proving myself to people like, no, that is not true and this and any other. But once I realized, you know what? These people are signed to me. They are put in my life or these lies are coming back to me to make me stronger and to make me know how valuable I am and how important I am to a whole lot of folk. <laughs> Obviously. For them to take the time to make up such vicious lies, I must be important. So, and these are people that, some of the people I don't even really roll with that made these lies up. But I'm like, wow, they watching me? They paying attention to me? Wow, kudos to me. (laughs) Once I start walking in that and realizing like, yo, you're going to be big one day. You're going to be a star, eh, Dion? And God is preparing you to get ready for the damn trolls on YouTube. That's what it's all about. And that was the conclusion that I came up with. And it's so true because I had a troll that was um, on social media. To, and this was an older troll, too. I have to call her a troll now because that's she was doing troll things. <laughs> but if people didn't know me. They would have believed her. But to people that don't know me, that read the lies she wrote, they can believe it. If they want. You get what I'm saying? And I had to tell my mom she was very upset with this person. And I was like, why? I had, this is how I know I had grown. And I started walking in my power. And I realized my value and my worth from all those years of people coming back to me with he say, she say that I knew wasn't true. So by the point, by this time, when my mom is all upset because she like, but she telling lies. I said, well, why would you even contact her? Mom? Well, because because she's my, near my mom age. So I was like, mom. You know it's not true, right? Yeah, but that's why I'm at... Okay, so why are you giving it any energy? I'm not. I don't care. That's on her. She's wasting her energy and her time putting this stuff out there. That takes time and that takes energy for people to hate on you. That's energy that they're giving out to make somebody look at you sideways. But yet, it's their energy, their time that they're wasting on you. (laughs) That's crazy. I don't have time or energy to give to nobody else, especially in a negative sense. I, I work hard every day at staying grounded in the positive vibe and keeping my joy and my happiness. So... I know it's getting to the 40 minute mark, but I could go on forever with this topic because I'm so grateful to those who are assigned to me, to my haters and my so-called enemies that I don't even know I have. uh, That's on an undercover tip. I love y'all. Kisses, hugs. If I could see y'all, I love y'all because y'all are who made me who I am today. Well, a big part of it, I'll say that. Y'all are the reason that I could come on this podcast show and be so open and so transparent about the things that I went through in life. About, you know, um, my downfalls, my failures, and how I was able to get back up from it. And be so open enough to share with you guys to let you know that you're not the only one out here going through. And you can get back up. You can walk in your dreams and visions. You can accomplish your goals. You can do anything you put your mind to. No matter what is falling down all around you. I'm telling y'all from experience. 
I've had this podcast show almost two years now. And within this time frame, I've had a lot of moving parts in my life. I've had, um, you know, I've moved a few times and I had to get situated and figure things out and get my money straight and all of these things. But I didn't stop this podcast show. I might have missed a couple of weeks due to birthday or something like that. But or I might have been sick one week or whatever. But for the most, I kept it going. This is a part of one of my dreams. This is one of my visions. My books that I published, that was a vision and a dream I wrote down in 2007. And I published them last year. So I'm here to tell y'all, in the midst of me just moving and getting my finances together, I had moved to a job that didn't even work out and had to figure things out, but I didn't stop writing. I still finish the books. I still publish the books. People are assigned to you to help you become a better you. Overstand that. Overstand that. Rather be your mama, your daddy, your sister, cousin, whoever. Your cat, your dog. (laughs) That don't want to be potty trained and want to always poop all over your carpet. They're there to probably teach you patience, compassion, not to just go to anger and want to whoop they behinds for pooping on your carpet. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying, y'all. Y'all gotta, 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 gotta look at situations and look at people and pray about it and ask God What is this hurt, this pain, this disappointment, this depression, this annoyance teaching you? What is it that God wants you to learn about you through this feeling, through feeling like this? What is it that you need to gain more power? Is it confidence? Do you need to gain more confidence within yourself? Because everybody keeps telling you that you can't do nothing or you can't accomplish something or you're not nothing or you ain't shit. You know, is it confidence that God wants you to walk in? Is it courage because you're scared to do new things? You're scared to go outside your comfort zone? Is it courage that God wants you to start walking in? Everything happens to you for a reason. Start going within, taking time to yourself, reflecting, get your energy back, and walk in your power. Check out the show from last week. Because we all have it. We all have greatness in us. We all have power. And we all have the ability to walk in a high vibration majority of the time. Life is life. So every now and then you're going to get that sucker punch. (laughs) Trust me. (laughs) But what you going to do? What you going to do afterwards? So I'm going to let this go. And uh, I really pray that the fact that you all are my assignment, that I am doing good and I get an A. Let me get an A, not a B, not a B plus. I hope I get an A with y'all every time y'all listen to this podcast show. So I just want to thank you guys for always tuning in. And if you fall off, but you come back, I love you guys for that. Um, Definitely share the show. Um, Definitely (laughs) check in the Chronicles of Living podcast show because, like I said, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I am going to start finish editing the videos that I have and um, doing more and doing more interviews very, very soon. So you don't want to miss it when I start doing it. So, And I am planning on doing the Instagram first. So follow me on Instagram so that way when I start doing that, we'll be good because I'm going to really start um, letting out... Uh, tools to y'all for as entrepreneurship okay 
So again, thank you for buying Visionary Dreamers 90 Day Journal, um, my book and my workbook, Transform Your Life, Discover Your Purpose by April A. Dion Williams. You can purchase it on uh, Barnes and Nobles and Amazon.com. And I thank you guys for supporting me with that. Continue to write me, email me about how it's helping you. And um, I look forward to talking to y'all next Sunday. This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit, (laughs) y'all. And uh, yeah, you're listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show the show for everyday people doing everyday things living everyday life i love 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 you guys peace thank you for listening to chronicles of living where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past present and future And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.